for Allegro 16.6 2015 release, we have now added a number of high-speed interconnect enhancements to address today's design challenges. Let's start with the new Snake Pattern Router, which provides automatic arc routing through hex pattern packages. To access the Snake Router functionality, you will need an Allegro PCB Designer license with the high-speed option. Based on previous prototype functionality, Snake Route has now been productized and integrated into the AdConnect command. It is no longer required to enter line width and gap as it uses current constraints. Entering Snake Mode is as simple as enabling the option via the right mouse button menu of AdConnect to transition to arc routing. Progressing down the channel will dynamically show the results of the route prior to making the selection. When routing a seal connection, you have the option to select the upper or lower lane in the channel, and making the selection outside of the pin field will convert back to normal routing to complete your connections. You also have the option to center a single route in the channel by enabling the center signal traces under snake options via the right mouse button menu. Once again, selections made outside of the pin field will convert back to normal routing. You have the ability to select up to two connections and route them together down the center of the channel while maintaining DRC clearance between the traces. Once again, selections made outside of the pin field will convert back to normal routing. Selecting a differential pair will, will also observe differential pair trace and space constraints while automatically centering the routed pair in the channel. Another feature of snake mode is the detection of when you are routing outside of the pin or via field. Simply selecting outside of the pin or via field, AdConnect will automatically transition out of arc routing. Upon entering back into the pin field, it will convert back to snake routing without the need of turning snake mode on or off. We are also introducing new prototype functionality focused on improving signal integrity. Let's first take a look at routing with differential pair return path vias. Return path vias, sometimes referred as ground reference or stitching vias, are normally connected to the ground and placed next to the diff pair via transition to provide a current return path to minimize signal digression. While routing a differential pair, you will find an additional right mouse button option called return path vias, which will allow you to set up and enable specific return path via styles. Setting up the net and via pad stack for return path vias can be done very quickly with the use of special filtering to show only DC nets and via pad stacks that are in the physical constraint set via list. Once setup is complete, you can simply enable one of the six predefined return path via styles and start routing. Adding a via will show the pattern on your cursor, which will dynamically highlight the vias when a DRC condition exists so you can adjust position prior to placement. You can also switch between the different return path via styles prior to placement without the need of leaving the add connect command. Just like adding standalone diff pair via transitions, you can cycle through the four available via patterns to quickly adjust the escape direction prior to placing the return path via group. The vias in the return path via group will automatically maintain net association during slide operations to maintain design integrity. Even after the diff pair with return path vias are placed, you will have the ability to adjust the return path via group placement using the slide command. It is also possible to slide the individual members of the group by unchecking the right mouse button option return path vias group for finer adjustments while still maintaining group association. Going back and re-enabling the option will allow you to slide them as a group once again. By default, the spacing between the diff pair via transitions and the return path vias are set to minimum DRC. Accessing the return path via settings, you have the ability to provide specific space, angle, and positioning for each of the six predefined styles, which will be used for future routing activities. Changes here will not affect any existing return path via groups, which have already been placed. Let's take a look at the interactive conversion of routing to a zigzag pattern to minimize the fiber weave effect. 
Fiber weave effect is when traces routed directly over the PCB fiberglass weave will see a different dielectric constant than traces routed over the void area in the weave. At high data rates, this mismatch can cause signal integrity issues when traces run parallel to the void areas of the fiberglass weave. If the condition exists on a differential pair, it could result in different propagation velocities between the legs of the differential pair. Similar functionality is available by setting the route offset during Add Connect, but it is limited to newly created routes and you would need to indicate the length and direction changes. The Add Zigzag Pattern command is available under the Route Unsupported Prototype Fiber Weave Effect menu. Once in the Add Zigzag command, you just need to specify the angle offset and the max length under the Options window. Simply select the route you wish to zigzag, indicate a start point over the selected routes, and drag down the length of the segment to control the zigzag distance. Left mouse button select at the end point of the zigzag to commit the changes. While in dynamic mode, you can indicate above and below the trace segments to control the direction of the zigzag pattern and left mouse button select to commit the change. Additional controls are available under the options window to offset the zigzag pattern from the existing routes or can to convert the entire segment to a zigzag pattern. This operation is limited to parallel C-line segments only.